as in, yes, I would like to be part of research, and then you touch the chest, and it's rigged to bring you here, transport you over the plains. <sighs> Perfect, I'm so happy it worked. Actually, a friend of mine did that for me, a djinn. So, personally, I don't have the power to go from plane to plane. I'm stuck here in the element of plane, but this is a little pocket area. My Jin friend help us set up so that I could bring you here. Humans can't really survive in the elements, but they rigged it for me because it was the only way I could get you here. But you accept? Wonderful. I allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited. I've been wanting to see a human for a very long time. I my name is Cordelia. I am a water genasi, and I am in the pursuit of knowledge and curiosity. And, um, well, I've been researching things on the other planes, and I read about humans. Well, I heard about humans from a demon that was visiting, and they were kind enough to give me some texts on humans all about them. You see this human, they go over to the, the the place where the humans are, the common realm, and they corrupt souls. And I said, 500 gold if you are able to record every single thing that you can find about humans. Right here. But as I said, nothing like the texts. This is all off. Well, it says, um, well, you're something like this, but you look nothing like... That demon most likely tricked me. They are known for their jokes. Well, uh, do you mind if I take a look, just so I can cross-reference? Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. Well, first, it says in the text that Sorry, there's a hair on my face. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> they mentioned that you were not bipedal. You had the uh, the front walking stabilizers. The walking legs are in the front to help stabilize your balance. So you do not need the front legs. These here, you see? They are connected somewhat like a praying mantis. You do not need those. Walking sticks. Walking sticks. So they help you to stand up. Would you mind holding out your arms for me? Good. And I'm just going to push down, if that's alright. On this side. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. And then on this side. Three, two, one. Yes, you are able to. Hold your arms out straight for me, please. And go like this on your nose, but look straight at me. Do not look at your... Okay? And touch your nose. Okay? And other arm. Touch your nose. Good. Straight again. Keep looking at me. And if your arm up, touch your nose. And other arm once again. <sighs> so you really don't need those front walking sticks. The demon mentioned that it was a necessity. Humans are very uh, clumsy and feeble. You 
things seem just fine to me. This doesn't make sense. Well then, I suppose I should move on. Your skin, also, it is not this colour. Do humans have variations of skin colour? I'm just going to get a closer look. Yes, this is a different shade. So you say there are different shades of lighter and darker skin. Different hues like green or blue. I see hints of red in your cheeks here. Yeah. that are darker, some patches, and dots. Do you have friends? Bring them over, maybe? Well, that's right, there's no way to contact them. Anyway, I'll just deal with what I have here. Hmm. Interesting sub areas are oily. Some are dry and flaky. <laughs> like the air genasi. But this part is very much like the water genasi. So I see. And the hair. The colours range from the white to darker white. Your hair colour is not quite Mmm, so it's not a black and white scale, it's more filled with colour. Let me take a look at your hair. You say some can be red. Brown. Oh. Blonde. So this is close to the grey. variety. Interesting. As Genasi, we have mostly shades of blue. Water Genasi. Fire Genasi, shades of red. You get it. It's very soft. Water Genasi, I have really wet hair. It's wet all the time. When we in normal. soft your hair. So it knots up, you say, and you have to brush it. Oh, I'd quite like to try that. If you don't mind if I... I have some relics from the common realm, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to practice brushing your hair. Still. Whoa. I see what you mean by it's all knotted up. Interesting. But it is uh, thin enough that this little uh, contraption can separate. Is that too, um, is that gentle enough? Oh, good. Just, just once more. Wow. One once more on this side. The way it hits the light. I like 
human hair. Hmm. I'll sit this down. So the brown splotches on your skin. Oh, that's dirt. Dirt. Are humans usually dirty? Ah, you are an adventurer. Adventurers are dirty. And not much time to cleanse yourself. Uh, ah, wilderness. Right. No ways to clean yourself in the wilderness. Well, thankfully, I have a way. I wet the towel. Hold still. I just want to make sure that I can see every part of your skin. This way, when I write my notes, uh, they are correct. Okay, hold still. Is this okay? Is that gentle enough for you? I don't want to hurt your skin. It looks very Also quite translucent, if I may say. In some parts, I can see the veins underneath your skin. The redness shows how very the redness in your cheeks shows how. human insults. <laughs> I might use them on some of my friends here. I know a certain demon who's going to get some insults. <laughs> oh, Rapscallion. I like that one. Rapscallion, Rapscallion. You are a Rapscallion. You hear me? I love it. You are clever, aren't you? <sighs> Next, one of the bigger things that I noticed it says that humans have large black eyes and that although they cannot see in the dark no dark vision the light also hurts them the best time for a human to hunt is in twilight or sunrise. You see the demon noted? These here? The dark black eyes. Very large. Sunglasses. So your eyes are not that. Hmm. But your eyes are indeed sensitive to light, and you cannot see in the dark. Well, he was right about that part then. Interesting. Your eyes are much prettier than this picture. I was expecting something of that of a demon, scary looking and blah. <laughs> but very pretty. The colour of your eyes. So is this all colours or like shades of brown, green, blue, and everything in between. Hmm. Lovely. I should most likely make a note um while you're here. You wouldn't mind if I drew a sketch of your eyes. So I don't forget Thank you. Center. I don't 
another very tiny circle that's dark black so this is where the intake of light is hmm, and it opens and closes to let more light in and less ah hmm I see why there's such a limited range of light you can see it's very small Hmm. Most uh, others, like demons, what did you not see? Deeplings, all sorts of things. We have bigger eyes, a bigger intake for, you know, light. So, we can see in the dark. I can't always see in the dark, actually, but I can see in the light. And the deeplings, they can see in the dark as well. Not very well in the light, but it's a give and take. It depends, though. Uh, yes, and we have these little hairs at the top eyelashes now what is the use of these eyelashes you say right there what is the use of these eyelashes you say they are to uh, block out the sun very Eyelashes on the top and bottom. Oh, it's to help me keep debris out. Ah, ah. I like that's a very intuitive design. Hmm. I believe I have a good sketch of the eye here. Um, is it okay if I see that opening and closing of your iris? I would really love to see it. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm still just going to cover one eye. <gasps> oh my. Once more. <gasps> and the other side. <gasps> well, isn't that just the neatest thing? <gasps> Can you look straight at me, please? And are you blinded because of the light? You can still see. How many fingers am I holding? How many fingers? Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? And how many fingers? Hmm. So, certain lights are okay at all. Small increments. Can you please follow the light for me? Wow. And you are very, uh, your eyes are good with reaction times. Lovely. <sighs> Something else I want to show you that's, um, a bit off. The ears. They are completely different than I thought they would be. The demon said that they were large, circular, clunky looking things. These look nothing like what they said. They're like, um, close to elves, but smaller. I haven't seen an elf either, but I have better texts. Ones that are from reputable sources. Unlike the humans. So yes, very much like that. Just rounded at the end. Rounded. This one is rounded at the end. Really beautiful. You see? They were supposed to be large and clunky. And they do not work well, apparently. They uh, cause um, you to be mostly deaf, but you do what you can by connecting them to your brain in the stomach. Your brain is not in your stomach? Well, this just... Oh, this changes everything. 
while I'm here, I might as well sketch the ear as well for later um, when I write my bit that I've researched here. I'm just going to um, get a closer look. So there's definitely this rounded shape. Very interesting. And then there's ridges on the inside. Various ridges at the top and the bottom. And then it goes down into a hole. A canal of some sort. inside your head. Your brain. And not your stomach. I was so sure on that one. Hmm. Well, if you... I'm just going to finish this sketch, but if you don't mind, I'd like to look inside. Would I be able to see the brain from Eardrum. Tell me more of this eardrum you speak of. Okay, so that's what the sound wave. Okay. And then that goes further into your ear and there's little. What? Really? Little hands. So your hearing's not horrible. It can be. with age, you say. And you are a young human, a older human. I see. Really? Well then, um, you hear this? What about this? Okay. Yes. to whisper a word, and you tell me what word you hear. This way I can be sure. Rapascallion, rapascallion. Rapascallion, rapascallion. I suppose you can hear well then. Let's take a look inside. Is this more dirt? Is this more dirt? Your ears have waxy substance. It's blocking my view. Earwax. Allow me to clean it out for you. Let's see. Hold still. I'm just going to wipe the inside of your ear here just to get all that wax out. Is that okay? That doesn't hurt. Good. And this side as well.
clean. I hope that Take a look inside here. Um, okay. Yes, I I believe I do see the eardrum. Let me to do a good job cleaning it. Let's take a look. I definitely see a bit of that eardrum. Well done. <laughs> so there's eardrums on both sides. clean the outside as well. This um, bit of skin mm. surrounding the hall is dirty as well. I have something that will clean it. Hold still for me. side as well. I'm just going to place it. Okay. I'm just going to sponge it all. Sponge, 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 sponge it all. Sponge, sponge. You wouldn't mind, um, say, ah, oh, I'd like to get a look at your teeth. Thank you. Ah, oh. what matter of food do you eat? some teeth that are flat for munching veggies. So humans are omnivores. Interesting. Front teeth are for ripping, back teeth are for grinding. Yeah. Different sizes. a lot. I suppose demons have a lot more. <sighs> Measurements, please. I understand that humans may come in all shapes and sizes, but i just like to do basic measurements of the face, please.
cool. Have I been using that one correctly? It is a term in the book. I have been using it. You noticed. Well, what do you think? My human lingo is a okay. Exciting. Oh. You said you'll teach me another human term. Oh, one moment. Ah, uh, let me grab a pen. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Pens over here. Just really excited. So I'm a bit all over the place. All right, what were those phrases that you were mentioning? Fleece it out. Okay. Fleece it out. And the other one. Dinkenflicker. I see. And how would you use that phrase? likely be using these ones. I will be the coolest one here at the elemental plane. Well, you have been very helpful. You may stay as long as you like. This little um, pocket dimension was made for mortals like you. Uh, but don't leave it. You will die a horrible death. Whenever you're ready to leave, let me know. You could take a nap over there. I know humans like to sleep. I've heard other demons like to sleep all day. <laughs> when you're ready, yes. Um, I will have a friend of mine, Jin, transport you back to the chest area. And if you have other human friends, Oh yes, the matter of paying you. <laughs> I almost forgot. You do not. You are fleecing it out. Let's see. Here. I believe this is 100 gold. Might be more. I get all my gold from the, the genies. We don't use gold here, so... I collect it for fun, or to pay demons, or humans if they show up. Tell your friends there's more of this. I'd like to see more variations of this human that you say. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Alright, well, I'm going to write more notes. Go ahead, take a nap if you please. Good night.